Hey guys, Wes here from BlueFX and today we're going to be touring the free version of Filmora and explaining it from a beginner's perspective. We'll be putting together our first ever sequence, adding on some other layers such as some social media icons which you can download for free by the way, more about that later. Let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do once we've actually launched Filmora is actually take a quick look around. Briefly, right at the bottom over here we have our timeline in which we place our clips. Over here in the top right we have our window where we view our clips and on the left we have our controls where we control our videos that we've imported as well as our effects and our tools and things like that. So to get started we actually want to import some media. So to do that let's just double click over here and then we'll go and navigate to the place where we saved our video and select it. So over here, I want to import this video right over here of myself, as you can see, and we want to edit this video. So let's say, for example, we want to cut up this video into two pieces, and then we want to add some overlays on top of it about our social media. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually click this video and then drag it into the timeline down below and let go. And I'm going to say keep the project settings. So what we have right now is a long, long, long video that I've recorded. It's about you know how long of a long it is the problem is that there's a lot of sections that we don't want to actually keep in this video so at the start we can see that at the start i'm still positioning the camera i'm setting up the microphone i'm clicking a record and i clap my hands to sync up my audio sources things that you really don't want to be showing your viewers but if we keep playing we can see that at this start over here right about okay man still adjusting everything and we can move to this section where we start speaking right over here there we go. So if I move right to that spot where I'm just about to start speaking, I can actually click cut over here by just clicking the scissors and it completely cuts the file into two. What then I can do is select the first half and just press delete on my keyboard and delete it. And actually Filmora is really clever because it fills that gap for you really quickly. So now if we start playing our clip, it starts from the section immediately where I'm speaking and we've gotten rid of all of that nonsense where I'm setting up the camera and fidgeting around my desk that your viewers don't wanna be watching. So the next thing we wanna do is actually make sure that our video contains everything that we wanted to because while we're recording we make mistakes so let's play throughout the video slowly and we can see until i stop speaking there we go as you see i'll stop speaking there so let's play there i stopped speaking right there and there's a little bit of dead space after that so let's click cut once again and then we'll keep playing and i started speaking there again we can also use the frame by frame controls over here to go frame by frame and i started speaking once again here so let's click cut once again we can then select this middle portion that we just cut out and hit delete once again and now we've made a jump cut because if we play through here it boom jumps to the next clip and the reason we do this is to cut out little bits where maybe i'm thinking of what to say or maybe i made a mistake we cut all those out so that the video can be concise it can be a little tight and it can have only the content that we want to have within it so let's say we're moving along now and we've done quite a few edits along the place. And the next thing we want to do is actually add some overlays. Because for example, at this section of the video, I'm talking about my social media and how you can follow me on social media. So what I want to do is actually add some social media icons. Now this could be images, it could be another video. And because Filmora allows you to stack videos on top of one another, you can have videos playing at the same time. So at Blue Effects, we've created a free social media icons pack, which is really simple and easy to use it can be found in the first line of the, descri the description down below so download that and completely for free by the way and then we can import it so let's double click in the media panel over here and we'll navigate to where those files are actually saved. I'm gonna import the MOV files, and let's say I'm talking about my Instagram. So we'll import that file. It has a transparent background, which means that when I drag it in above my video clip onto a separate video light layer, it's dragged in and there's no background of it, which means that I can actually position it wherever I want in the frame on top of my video without covering up my video. So with that clip selected, let's then select it in the project, uh, in the, in the uh, viewer window and then we can just resize it over here and put it right here in the corner because I'm talking about Instagram at that point point. and if we play back immediately we have this really neat animation of Instagram but as you can see editing is a flowy process a flowy is not a word but I just made it up we run into problems as we edit and we fix them as we go along so for example I've realized that while I'm watching this clip this Instagram logo pops in and there's a dark line or a harsh line at the bottom. So the best place to actually position this logo would be at the edge of the frame where that line just blends in. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So let's select it and let's just move it in right to the bottom over here. 
and like that it almost as if it comes out of the bottom of the screen and that's the beauty about editing you can fix things and create things as you go along so what this clip is actually missing over here i have my video i've cut it into two pieces i've added an instagram overlay but i don't have some music so if you want to add some music let's double click in the import tab once again and let's navigate to a nice song so I have this song over here called um, A Rose, and it's a single that I downloaded from audio.com, which is one of the um, websites that we talked about in our best place to get music for YouTubers video, which I'll link on screen right now. Check out that video out, it's really cool. If you wanna add this, it's really simple. All you have to do is drag it to one of the audio layers at the bottom, and automatically we have a song playing here. And the way you adjust this song's volume is by dragging this little line here up and down. So we can drag it really soft just to have the video playing softly in the background so that it's not overwhelming the audio of me speaking in this clip and right just like that you've created an edit already i mean there are lots of other things you can go into for example in um wondershare for more there's a bunch of different transitions and there's effects and split screen and titles that you can do we are going to be coming out with a video all about transitions and titles and how to animate them within this program so definitely stay tuned for that but as far as this goes this is all you need to know as a beginner so let's recap really quickly what we have to do in order to start editing is to import media in the media panel and we do that by right clicking and then navigating to the file and selecting it. If we want to use a particular video or an overlay or, an, or a, um, an image or a music file or anything to use it, all we need to do is click it and drag it into our timeline and it actually will become there. It'll be in the timeline right there. And then to edit it, all we need to do is scrub along to the place where we think we want to cut. We click the cut icon, it cuts it in half, we delete that middle portion, and we and the automatically Filmora fills that gap for us. If you want to add music, we just drag it below in one of these music tabs over here, and we can stack multiple music layers to create a full sound scheme and multiple video layers to create a full video scheme. If you want to create an overlay, we can just make sure we download files that have a transparent background and we can add it on top of the video, just like these um, social media icons that are free to download from BlueFX. We can select the clip and we can adjust it. And this goes, by the way, for our main clip as well, because if I select my main video, I can also zoom that in and reposition it if I want maybe more of a zoomed in look. And we've also learned how to create a jump cut, all of that under 10 minutes. So if you hope if you guys are enjoying this and if you guys are following along, um, if you're not, ask questions down below. I'll be there and all the guys over at BlueFX will be ready to respond to any of your questions to help you along your video editing journey. If you want a part two to this video, if you want to see more of this series of beginner tutorials and how you can actually start editing from scratch completely for free using free assets, free software, and basically everything free, then leave a comment down below and let us know about that and we'll definitely get on it. But as far as this video is concerned, it is complete. So leave a like down below, share this video with all of your friends, subscribe and turn on notifications so that you are notified of every new video that we upload. Until next time, I'll see you in the next one.